Catherine Hogan, and I am the founder and director of a program called Inclusion Teaming, which addresses children's needs to practice their communications and addresses bullying behavior that goes on in school. Intervention means that we're going to be doing something about it when it happens. And that involves an accountability issue, which is very difficult for educators. And of course, very difficult then for the parents and the child if it's complicated for the educators. So I'm gonna talk a, about a few things that I think can be helpful for us to think about, uh, to brainstorm about how can we intervene in some ways that can bring accountability so that everybody knows there is a sanction or that it's not acceptable by the fact that an intervention will occur if, it, if it's serious. Inclusion teaming was founded um, as a result of trying to address bullying issues, particularly bullying issues of children with social communication challenges. These children more often uh, appear to be more normal than others and that being the case they are more likely to be the target of youth who don't understand what's going on and I believe that the essential piece of intervention at this particular time is to teach youth about youth about the differences that exist among themselves and right now that's not an obligation of our schools so it may become an obligation of our communities. And we do that by addressing the youth who are being bullied for communication differences. And we also have a bullying recovery program, <clears throat> which may take some time for perhaps a local education agency to utilize, but if they set up sanctions for behavior, and if a child suspended even for two days, they may want to insist that they, he participate in this program, or whether it's three days. If it's more serious, we have different levels of bullying intervention or remediation. Um, the committee, I think, is really, really important. We say it takes a whole um, town, a whole city to help resolve a problem. Educators cannot do this alone. Parents cannot do this alone because they don't have the power that's behind the educational system. But we could invite the parents together to sit at a table like this to decide together what, where can we intervene? And where can we intervene in, in bullying? Where can we hold the child accountable that everybody in this community will support, or at least that this board will support, so that the educators can go forward and make that decision? I think it's essential that communities come together in their local educational agencies, form a committee that helps support education, educators in their decision-making process. Now, that will probably involve things that we haven't thought about yet. What particular type of act warrants what particular type of sanction? And all that can be worked through at the committee level. That doesn't need to be standardized throughout the state. Local educational agencies have independence anyway. I just wanted to close by telling you how much I appreciate the opportunity to express these ideas publicly so that they can reach our audiences and empower people to think about ways that they may be able to come together and help resolve some of the complex issues that are there both for educators and more importantly our children.